So welcome on board to another interesting video session. Today we'll be learning how to put drum samples into our mix DJ, into our mix vibes that is cross DJ app for the Android phone. I have explained that in one of my videos on the virtual DJ app, how you can do that using the virtual DJ, that is by editing the mapping file. So today I'm going to show you where you can find the mapping file this same cross DJ app that is the mix vibe from the name you are seeing. If you have it in your phone, I'm going to show you how you do it. How you do it. When you install it initially, by the time you open this part where you have your vocals, then okay, you can pick any of the features. In this case, we'll be using the vocals. So, this is the vocals. Well, this is the vocals. Then, if you come down, if you come down here come down here these are the samples of the vocals you see how we are going to modify it to put our put in our drum part inside so let me play them can you see can you see the voices at this initial point we have voices so i'm going to show you how we edit it although sometimes you can't edit it from here because you have to buy other features so if you can't buy it i'm going to show you how you do it so at this point since you have seen it we will close the feature the we'll close the app we'll close the app for now I will close it. Take note, our folder is vocal. So you come to your Android phone. I uh, want see on the Android phone you look for your file manager. That is where your you can access your internal memory of your phone. So by the time it's loading, by the time it's done loading, you come down here. You select this part. This is your internal memory. You enter. By the time you enter your internal memory. You scroll, there is the folder called Android. That is the folder just like your normal system folder. So the folder that keeps record of all the applications you keep is installed in your phone. So you look for it. It's called Android. 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 Look at it here. Finally see it. So look at it. Open it so by the time you open it, you go to the another folder again. This is this one data. So by the time you open the data, then you now take note of your directory as you open. So look at your directory here from internal Android data, then you scroll. You go to a folder that keeps record of your cross DJ features. Look at the folder here. Look at it. Come to Smith Vibes Cross Fire. Open. So at this point, take note we are going to be dealing with samples. That is our drum samples. So we are, our focus is going to be on this folder. You open the folder. So as I've showed you. At that initial point, when I open the file, when I open the cross DJ application, we'll be dealing with vocals. So this is the vocals here. So at this point, you copy your drum samples or the any samples that you want sound. You come into here. All this for everything you see in this folder here, this with samples. So we are dealing with vocals at this point, which is the first one. You open the vocals. By the time you open it, you paste it into the, this particular folder. So if you scroll down, these are the presets that come with it. If you scroll down, you see at this point where it talks about talking drum here down. These are the ones I copied into it. So by the time you copy them, you select one, select one of them. And let's pick number three. That is the drum sample three. So you select it. By the time you select it, you copy the file name. Your target is the file name. You get the file name. You will now come down here. There is a folder. That is written preset.json. In most cases, your own is going to be one. So you select it. Let me highlight it for you again to see very well. Look at it here. It's written preset.json. This is the folder, this is the file that keeps the settings. So the file names and the access. So you select it. You make sure you have an XML editor in your phone first. So don't worry, I'm going to show you how you do that one too. You install it in your phone. It's a very simple application. You can easily get. So by the time you select it here, 
you change the file extension because at this point since you don't have a json editor in your phone you have to change it to xml so json and xml are almost on the same but it's just that they have different configuration but you can change it to xml so that the xml editor can have access to it so you change the, the after the preset this is the file name then the next part which is dot xml this part this is the extension so we we'll select it but now we we'll change it to xml from json we we'll rename it when you are done renaming it you will now uh -huh, it's done you will now come to it again and open with we we'll select the xml editor so that the xml editor once you click it from here it automatically open it XML editor, so you select open file at this point. So when it is done open, when it has open, you scroll, you pick that particular file with the name that preset.xml look at it down, which is the last one, you select it. This very one. So by the time you select it to open. So once it is open, you pick the first one or any one that you want to modify. On that, ignore the first parameter. These are parameters it stores information here. These are the parameter settings. So these ones are the file name. That it. This first part is the settings for the ground part. Then this second part. This second part this with samples that is the the sample this is the file name this file name is located in double quotation so this is where you put your own file name to the name you copied so we are going to highlight it then we will paste by the time we paste our own which is talking down from three we will now save it yes good, good job we are done go back So when you are done from this part, since it is in XML, the machine will not be able to access it or use it. You have to change it back to its initial name, which is .json. You remove the XML, you change it to JSON, that is JavaScript Object Notation. That is why I advise people to learn programming, at least the basics. It will help you a lot. If you want to be a professional DJ and you want to be a master in getting some of these things done without necessarily looking for a programmer to do it for you. When you are done, you forget about it, you close it, then you will now go to your cross. So when you are downloading it, you notice that that first one we choose, the name will change automatically. So it's automatically giving us access to the drum part, that first one. So the same thing is applicable, you can edit all. So at this point, you notice that that particular one will change. So we are, what, since we didn't change those or these other ones, we are still having the normal voice too. So this is a drum part, you can clearly see. So you see. So we are going to load the song, play it on it. Let's see how it looks like by playing it on the drum part. So in our present day world, you can't do without learning some basic concept of programming, especially the basics of JavaScript, where you understand the concept of tenor operator, especially object notation, that is where you store information. So you usually use object notation, which is a JSON file, to store settings and other things. It's applicable to so many files, so many surface. So let's play the drum with it. So Dorime. So thank you very much, you can go through my profile, my YouTube or Facebook, there are a lot more to learn, the handles are there for you, so the, my profiles are full of educative information for you to learn and to develop yourself.
so thank you very much you can comment ask your question for anything for better clarification or for any link thank you very much